Hi Leo, welcome to Tarot Readings by Ross B. This is going to be your October 2021 monthly love reading. I'm using Crystal Visions Great Deck. Yes, I do use it a lot for the love readings. Leo, those of you that have recently subscribed, I just want to say thank you so, so much. I truly, deeply appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please do hit the red subscribe and then notify all, all notifications. I'll be right to your right hand side. Leo. Sun, moon, rising. Love for Leo. Love for Leo. October 2021. Okay, death, sign of Scorpio, king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, man, ten of pentacles, Seven of Swords. God, the tower right in the center of the reading. Holy moly. Queen of Cups. Six of Wands. The Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Man. Three of Pentacles. All right, well, Judgment. A chance for a new beginning, fresh start. I mean, second chances. You know, it could be you rising up from past difficulties, healing your relationship. This could even be a new beginning for some of you. King of Swords. You know, if you have air in your chart and you're male, surrounded by death, sign of Scorpio. And then the Ten of Pentacles, there's a significant ending. And a new beginning. You do have Scorpio coming through. But also with the death, death card, you know, a big transformation that changes everything. The Ten of Pentacles, man, that's family. Relationship with security, stability. It's a relationship that's solid. So for some of you, you could be like meeting this person. But if you're already like coupled, you're dealing with a lot of challenges, issues with the death card. There could be a huge change within that relationship. 
You know, you're all, you're all energy being judgment. I love that. It's it's a new chance at a new beginning with the person that you're that you're with. There definitely could be something huge changing between you and maybe someone has finally like seen the light and they realize, you know, what you really mean to them. I do feel really strongly feel like that there is a dramatic change here. A significant like new beginning. That's really leading to marriage, a long-term commitment, a new beginning. Queen of Cups, you know, could be your energy if you have water in your chart. But if you're connected to a water sign, there is a need to be cautious here for some of you. It could be an unexpected, like, relationship that comes in for you because you do have the tower next to her you know it is it is it is a neutral card it's a it's a neutral message depending on what's around it you do have the seven of swords i mean Big time liar, cheater, thief. Someone could be lying to you. Well, I mean, it could be a Scorpio. Or someone that is, uh, like, in an emotional place, if not a Scorpio. Or any water sign. In a love reading, I mean, it could be self-deceit where you might... Be seeing something that isn't true. I feel like really with someone with that kind of behavior, lying. I mean, with the tower, I mean, that definitely could lead to a huge change. And whatever, this change is probably, you know, not good for you with the tower. A huge change that's working against you by making an unwise decision. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with. It could be working against their, their own happiness. But again, with judgment, you do have, a, you do have a, a chance here. A new beginning, a new relationship. I mean, just make sure that, you know, you're not running away from something that, that really needs to be face to face again. This could all be connected to a water sign, queen of cups, six of wands. I mean, this definitely is, is month of success you definitely could be overcoming any obstacles that you've been that's been blocking you the emperor is telling you to like take back your power it could be maybe you know you've given someone too much power over you to where, like, you're confused. You could be making excuses, you know, for them covering up their their lies. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Leo. Yeah, this is, like, wow, crazy. Definitely covering up their lies. Whatever it is that... They're not coming through for you. The Emperor. Like, take back your power. Take control of your life. Because it is... If you do have their... 
there's a sense of victory around it with, you know, the Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're the one that's doing all the work. You know, this is teamwork. Working together. So I do feel like you're doing everything possible, Leo, to fix a relationship. But someone is not really, like, working on it. At all. I feel like you're doing everything possible to fix a relationship. You know, but sometimes it's not really working with you. I feel like this is connecting to the Seven of Swords again by making excuses for someone. Not acknowledging they're doing something to damage the relationship or the marriage. Like, again, I mean, Leo, you could be being your own worst enemy. Because, you know, this reading is for Leo. And doing that by covering up for them. You know? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab some more cards for you guys. Um, yeah, this guy. The Celtic. Swords, Tower, Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, wow, Lovers, Sign of Gemini, interesting. You definitely could be dealing with an, with an air sign. Lovers, I feel strongly some of you are really trying to hold on to a relationship. And that's probably why you have the Seven of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign. But if not, then that means, you know, that it could be your, you know, your energy. If you have air in your chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or you could be just dealing with another air sign. If not, then this means, you know, like uh, the emperor too. I mean, take as is, is like saying, really take back your power. Take control because I do feel like with the three of pentacles, the one that's doing all the work. You know, where you both need to work together. You know, Leo, if you're the one doing all the work, you're actually working against, like, your own happiness. 
The Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Some of you are desperately trying to hold on to a relationship. Your marriage, the lovers, Gemini. This does show me that you really want this relationship. You're holding on to it for a reason. You definitely don't want to let go of this person because you feel like they are the one. Like, you want this person. And you want you want it to be a long-term relationship. I do feel strongly that you know, you do have a chance this month for a relationship that is not perfect to have this huge transformation, a new beginning, a second chance with judgment, your relationship, marriage, rising up from difficulties. I mean, with the death card... Relationships, marriages, a huge change, transformation, and maybe, you know, again, you're, you're doing all the work, and by doing that, you're working against the relationship. Maybe you're making excuses for some of their bad behavior, their lies. You're really, like, being told to take back your power. If you do that, you could change all of this and have a new beginning. I mean, you don't really... I mean, if you're female, you really don't look like you care what they're saying. I mean, especially in this, in this deck, this is like liar, sneak, cheater. I mean, if you're making excuses for that bullshit, take back your power and just let it go. Like, just go. And if you do that, you really could have a new beginning if you let it go. Whatever it is, while wow, Nine of Cups is under judgment. Some of you are actually praying for your wishes, hopes, dreams to come true. It is, you know, a wish fulfillment card. Whatever you're wishing for. And then Justice. Some of you could be going through a divorce. But whatever it is, Leo, you are the one that's going to have a new beginning. You are. A new beginning. Just... Don't get sneaky and, you know, lie and cheat, whatever. Just go and if you know you're a female and you need to take back your power to move on then that's what you need to do be confident and just go just move on okay if it resonates great if it doesn't you know watch your other signs um but definitely give it a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down it doesn't matter but it does matter with, with Google. It does help me. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I, will, I love you guys. I will see you back here soon.